I'm from 9B class number 30. Today I want to show you how to make fermented sticky rice or what we call tapi ketan. So let's get started. Okay, the first thing we have to do is prepare our tools and ingredients. The ingredients I use today are a half kilo of sticky rice, enough water, enough food coloring, and two pieces of tapi yeast. Next, we will wash our sticky rice. You can repeat it two or three times depending on whether the sticky rice is clean. The third step, we add enough water and enough food coloring. Right now, I'm using cream. After that, stir until blended. Then, we can leave it overnight. After leaving it overnight, we wash our sticky rice again. step, we steam our sticky rice for about 15 minutes. Steam. Move the sticky rice to another place. Then add about 300 cc hot water. We stir while shading it little by little. After that, we steam again for about 25 minutes.
after it's cooked, prepare a place covered with banana leaves. Then move the sticky rice to a place that has been prepared until cold. Next step, sprinkle two pieces of mashed tape yeast. After that, put the sticky rice in small cups and leave it tightly closed for 3 days. Finally, the tape ketan is ready, and this is the final result. Okay. Hmm. It's good. The conclusion is the sticky rice has been fermented with tape yeast. You can make uh, many food variants with this tape ketan, like as buah or something else. Thank you for watching.